All right, people. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. You just fucked up my car, dude. You are a terrible-ass fucking driver. I hope you know that. Got him. Got him. Get him right here, boys. Block him in. Block him in. Block him in. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LSP. That guy just got T-boned back there. Did you see that? I saw that. That truck just T-boned that car. Anyways, welcome back to LSPDFR. Today, we're going to be supporting the breast cancer awareness. We're going to be rocking this Dodge Charger. I believe that in the um, files, it said it was a 2015 Dodge Charger. So this is a uh, 2015 Dodge Charger for breast cancer awareness. It is a pretty good-looking charger. So we got stage one, which is going to be your TA in the back there. Stage 2 is going to be some back, simple lighting in the back. I think it has some front, yeah, some front lighting. And then in code 3, you have your actual wig wags in the front, and everything lights up there. Looks pretty sweet. I really enjoy the Chargers, one of my favorite cars to patrol in. Uh, so I just felt like with today, today is Halloween of me recording this, and I'll probably release it today as well just because uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and with Halloween being the last day of Breast Cancer Awareness, I want to try and get the video out for breast cancer awareness. So, I uh, hope you guys are having a great Halloween today. If you're taking the kiddos out, make sure you keep them safe. Uh, watch out for crazy people out there, because there is some crazy people on Halloween. Um, and don't forget about the mom and dad tax on the candy. You gotta have the mom and dad tax. So, uh, take the kids out for candy. They gotta, you gotta go through and pick out what you want. So, we're gonna be out here in the uh, downtown Vinewood area, kind of just taking call outs and making sure everyone's following the rules in our beautiful breast cancer awareness vehicle. So we're going to get out here and see what we can get into today. Nothing really has changed in the game. It's all pretty much the same aside from this charger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go on duty. Take for calls. Police radio. We're going to go available for calls. So without further ado, let's get out here and see what we can come across. Okay, so this little smart car over here just ran that red light. We're going to go try to catch up to him. see what his deal is he just it turned red and he went ahead and just turned left anyways one day one i'm gonna be elgin avenue clinton avenue with a black smart car can i go ahead and get a 28 on that vehicle that place is gonna be 49 to victor adam tom 404 target license plate Four nine Victor Adam Tom four zero four no ten ninety nine. As soon as this light turns green, we're gonna stop them. See what their deal was with. The l oh dang, he's accelerating quick. Oh my lord. Let's see what he's all about. One day one, I'm gonna be out with that vehicle. We're gonna be facing northbound Elgin Avenue. This seems to be occupied times one. No additional thing at this time. All right, we already ran a plate. Everything was good on that. We're gonna go ahead and talk to them, see what their deal was with running that red light. This charger looks pretty sweet. I'm liking the skin. They had a black one too, but I think the white and the uh, pink look good as well. Hello, sir. Name's Deputy Lance with the well, deputy. I'm so used to playing in the county. My name's Officer Lance with the Los Santos Police Department. I can't even talk. I don't even know where I'm patrolling at anymore. The reason for the stop is that back there. Uh, you kind of ran that red light. It turned red. You went ahead and went left anyways. Uh, couldn't want to get your license, registration, proof, insurance on you. Hey. Let's see some ID, huh? Kind of big for that little bitty car, aren't he? Alright, Mr. Holly. Go ahead and sit tight for me, okay? I didn't even read. Uh, I think he was nervous. I don't even know. I didn't even read the dialogue. So, we're going to go ahead and do a scroll lock. Oh, I already did that. So we're going to get in here in the computer. See what we got for Mr. Holly. Uh, in Holly. He does have an arrest record back in 2017 for public act of lewdness. And for those of you that don't know what lewdness is, basically that's just, uh, like, coming off in a sexual way and uh, sexually offensive or something like that. I'm pretty sure is what that means. Basically something to do with the, with asking for sexual favors. So that's kind of a weird thing to, to have on his record. Uh, he does have a concealed gun permit. Um, he does have all this. He has no warrants. He's been stopped once. So just because of that arrest report 
I'm just gonna write him a ticket. Oh, okay, so failure to stop for a traffic signal. It's gonna be that. Ran right through that red light. I don't always give warnings every time. Submit citations. All right, that's gonna be that. We're gonna go ahead and get him his citation. I do give a lot of warnings, so every now and then I have to give a ticket. It wasn't just because of his uh, arrest record. You have to give tickets every now and then. All right, Mr. Holly, this is gonna be a citation for failure to stop at a traffic signal. Uh, you have two aging, take care of this. You can call the number on the back of that and they can give you what you need, information you need. Uh, or you can use your court date at the bottom uh, next week on Monday since this is going uh, into a weekend. You can call on Monday, get your court date, and they can get that all situated. And you can go to court, try to fight it if you if you choose to. If you go ahead and sign at the bottom here, this is not a mission to give up. This just states that you did receive the citation and you do agree to take care of it in whatever way you choose. All right, here's your copy here. Once I get back to my vehicle, sir, you may leave. All right, there's your copy, sir. You be safe, and you make sure you stop at red lights, okay? All right, be safe, man. Have a good one. Happy Halloween. All right. It's a citation for the day. One David one, you can show me back. 10-8. We're going to be uh, Charles times one back in service. Okay, so this vehicle just did some jank shit. We're gonna wait for him to get in front of us and we're gonna stop and talk to him, make sure they're safe to drive because they did some jank shit right there. <clears throat> Let's see what they got going on with the license plate. Wait until we get to a safe position to stop them. Target license plate. Two, eight, seven, David, Ida, three, seven, seven, no, 1099. One day we're going to be out with that vehicle. We're we'll facing northbound Bay, Bay Tree Canyon Road. It's going to be, seems to be occupied times one. Should be out with that vehicle. All right. So basically back there on what road was that? I don't know what road this is. Whatever road this is right here. They uh, did some jank shit back there. So we're going to go talk to them and see what is going on with that. Hey, hey how's it going? The officer lands with the Los Santos Police Department. Reason for the stop back there, you kind of went from your lane to the other lane and kind of ran into the side of the mountain back there. I uh, was just wondering, you know, are you okay to drive? What's going on? You've been drinking today. Go and get your license, registration, proof of insurance from the vehicle, please. Hey, let's see some ID, huh? It doesn't look to appear you have much damage to the vehicle, but like I said, what I saw just kind of looked like you we're kind of driving weird, so I just wanted to make contact with you and make sure things are alright. Let's go ahead and sit tight from the vehicle, just keep your hands on the steering wheel, alright? Alright, she said that it looks to- she seems kind of sad. She seems kind of depressed, so maybe she was trying to figure out a way to end it all. Go ahead and get in the computer system, check her out, see if she's got anything going. She has two citations, public protests, and the lights must be eliminated so she didn't have any lights on. And valid license, no warrants. She's been stopped four times. Uh, she's 24 years of age. She's good on that. Um, go back. Vehicle records again, just to check that all out. Uh, dark steel, everything's good on that. Okay, so, I mean, I don't have a reason to cite her. I could cite her for uh, failure to maintain lane, but that's kind of... I just wanted to talk with her and uh, question her. I'm going to go ahead and ask her to step out of the vehicle. Don't make me use this. Ma'am, what are you doing? What the fuck? No. Oh my god, I hate when this happens. I really hate when this happens. Uh, whatever. LSPD, stand down. Okay. Uh, whatever. Good thing that door was there cuz she would have walked away. They do that a lot whenever you ask them to leave the vehicle. Holy shit. Okay, Hold can you. I can I not there we go. Okay, move the ped. Let's get out of the road, ma'am. I just want to talk to you. I want to make sure you're okay to drive. Okay. Alright, ma'am. So, 
like I said, I'm just here to make sure that you are not drinking. So have you had any anything to drink today? Never drink in your life. Okay. Any drugs or anything like that? You've been clean for a year. Okay. So where are you coming from? Your friend's house. All right. Yeah, there, I mean, that is true. You do have the right not to answer that. Well, do you live around here? Okay, well, the reason I'm asking is because, like I said, you just the way you were driving back there, I'm just making sure you're safe to drive. But, I mean, you seem okay to me. You haven't been drinking. I don't smell any alcohol in your breath, okay? So, I was just getting you out, questioning you, make sure everything was good with that. So, I mean, you look good to me. I just, just make sure that you're, you're staying in your lane, okay? Just, I don't want you to have to, I don't want to come back and see you in an accident, all right? So, just make sure you get home safely, okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Back to the vehicle. You have a good day, okay? You're safe Stay to go. Hmm, I guess it was just a weird AI thing. She seems okay to drive. She's just a little bit upset about something. Maybe her and her friend got into an argument and they're no longer friends anymore or something, but she'll be on her way and we'll be back 10-8. Available for calls. Okay, so we have an ambulance requesting a escort. This is not something that usually you would do. Um, but I've I don't think I've ever had this call, so maybe I have a long time ago, but I kind of wanted to see what it was about. So we're going to go up here and see what we can do to assist this ambulance up here. And I noticed I forgot to put the mean V8 beefy sound on this charger. Kind of sad. And there's the ambulance there blaring the siren. So do we need to... Okay, this is not something you would do at all, but... Uh... Ooh, we're getting some air. I'm trying to get ahead of them. Of course it won't open. Oh god, this ambulance is relentless. Jesus Christ. All right, we're gonna get up here and get this ambulance to where they need to go. Hopefully they don't kill somebody in the process. Get up here and block some intersections for them. Where you going, dude? What the fuck? That is not where you go at all. What are you even doing, bro? What are you even doing? This is why AI is complete garbage. Come on, you can do it, little ambulance. You can- there you go. I don't know why he went this way, but I was blocking the intersection for him. Alright, people. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. He just fucked up my car, dude. You are a terrible-ass fucking driver. I hope you know that. And I hope that you get your license revoked, because you're a dumbass. I hope that patient doesn't sue you. Actually, I hope they do sue you. Alright, we're coming up on the hospital in a half a mile. This is a lot further than I expected it to be. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That ambulance driver is terrible. Destroyed my freaking back of my car. I'm gonna get a new car now. I wish he would change his siren. Oh my goodness. Alright, get out of the way. Get out of the way, people. One day one dispatch, you can show me out 97 at the uh we're gonna be out at the hospital. Mountain Zonia Medical Center. Alright, dude, you can turn the siren off. We're here. Oh my god. Are you that fucking retarded? Okay, bro. Here, let me move this, move this ambulance for you so you can learn how to drive. Let me just go ahead and move this for you. As I broke the invisible window. 
police business. This ambulance is really nice. Um, we're gonna go park this over here. Can you make it now, bro? Are you good? Dude. Hey. Alright, he's gonna be fine. We're gonna be here. Look at the engine in that. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it's texture. Never mind. Alright, well, we're gonna be back to Nate Bill false. He's dumb. Doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, so we're en route to an officer requesting traffic stop. Back up. We're gonna go ahead and just get through intersections and such. Dude, you almost hit me. You would've hit me, I swear. Oh, of course, he's got his siren blaring. Why not? One day, one each, I mean, 97. They always have their siren on it. It's so annoying. Thank you. Jeez, it's so annoying. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, we try to strive for excellence here. The vehicle I stopped ran a red light. The registered owner comes back as wanted. Thought you might need another arrest for your quota. There's no such thing as quotas, so I don't understand what you're talking about. It's your stop. You take it. Please pull out a fucking gun. I swear to God, I'll light your ass up. Oh, he's taking off. One day one, we got one fleeing. Come on, dude, run! What the fuck are you doing? I like how this guy is just fucking standing there. We're gonna need some backup. Once I can get going here. We're gonna need another patrol unit. Okay, I do not like that. Why is it doing that? I disabled that. Okay, we got a siren going now. And for some reason, I, I don't understand why the AI cars are so much faster. It's like they add- Oh, that was close. Like they add 15 times boost to their cars or something. I disabled that. Why is it doing that again? I don't understand. I see him. You don't have to do that. That was stupid. Oh, he just got- Okay, there goes his ram bar. And you made me hit a fucking biker. God, you're a dumbass. Oh my god, these fucking AI cops. This is why I never request backup. Or I need to not request backup, because AI are so fucking stupid. We're gonna wait until we get to a more clear location before we do a pit, because it's... The cops are more dangerous than the freaking suspect is, like, come on. I can't even look behind me right now, it's not working. It's been doing that, I don't understand why you can't look behind you. With the control- or with the controller I can't. With the keyboard I can't. That's weird. It's been doing that. I don't know why. He has no bumper room, by the way. That toggle behind me he is literally nothing. As you can see right through it. Okay, that was- that was almost bad. Alright, we're gonna be entering the county now. Continuing westbound Sonora. Okay, we're gonna attempt to pit right here. We got him. We got him. Get him right here, boys. Block him in. Block him in. Block him in. Get the fuck out of the car right now! Get out of the car. On the ground. I don't know what that obnoxious sound was, but it was annoying as fuck. What? What? What are you doing? Oh, nice tase, bro. Nice. Face on the dirt. Oh, I forgot to put the... reason I'm using this gun is because this is the gun I have the mod on. The, uh, shoot fat, shoot faster mod. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Go ahead and rest him, buddy. Alright, he's got that. I'm gonna turn this obnoxious siren off. No, what are you doing, dude? Turn the siren off. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go up here and go ahead and search him. Rapid eye movement. So he was drunk. He didn't want to get that secondary charge. Now you got 
DUI, resisting arrest, all kinds of charges now, buddy. Nothing illegal on him there. He does have a uh, instilled permit. We're going to breathalyze him real quick. Is that like an, I think it's an inhaler. Yeah, it looks like an inhaler or something like that. Holy shit, he is almost double the legal limit. All right, bro. Why is that not working? Okay, you have to press that. It's so stupid. It decided it, the stop the pad didn't want to work with my controller. We're going to go ahead and put him in this vehicle right here. There you go. There you go. Get in there just like that. Yeah, I know. I just breathalyzed him. Uh, I need him to be taken to jail. So if you want to take him, go right ahead. I'm going to search this vehicle. Oh my god, it is fucked up. Look at that. Holy shit. What? What's going on over there? What in the world just happened over there? The whole front passenger side is just caved in. He must have hit that rock pretty hard. Alright, a toaster? This guy had a toaster in his car. Who the hell fucking carries a toaster in their car? Maybe they want toast. I don't know. I don't know his life. I don't know what he's about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a tow service up here. Uh, let's just do a flatbed. Because there's no way. I don't think these wheels are going to move. Well, then I guess the back wheels, if it's hooking to the front. Yeah, I guess the back wheels would have moved. But, you know what they say. Dude, your Tahoe is fucked. I swear to God, if you hit me, I'm shooting you right in the face. Why is that LSP officer down there? This is not... I guess I requested backup in the city, so I guess that makes sense. But he's down there. What are you doing down there? You're no help. Okay, so that's going to be clear of that. And uh, we're going to be clear of this scene. And that is going to do it for today's episode of LSPDFR for Breast Cancer Awareness. I thank you guys for joining me on this episode. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.